What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Prince Truth here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K19. So, the authors of Payam say that it was a fluke that they lost at Extreme Rules and they want a rematch. They wanted a rematch on SmackDown against Prince Truth and Cody Silva. They went to the earth, the authority about that, and they said no. Well, that's not how it's gonna work. You're gonna have a rematch at Backlash, and they were cool with that. If you can beat every tag team that we set you up with, not set you up with, set you up against until Backlash. So authors of pain have to win for a month before they can face Prince Truth and Cody Silva at the next pay-per-view. I will not be playing those matches either. Make it fair. I just had pizza. Got yeah, like my mouth still tastes like pizza. You guys ever get that? It's like, I'm trying to figure out if this tastes good or not. <laughs> I talked was last night. I'll tell you that that stayed in my mouth for a minute. It made me really thirsty too. Rezar and Triple H starting off this match. Picks the Triple H, slams him down. I don't know what the fans are saying. Ooh, elbows to the gut. Triple H, oh, turns, they, that was, that was, that was unique. Now, Akim doesn't have a tight team partner momentarily. These are tags and Akim, I think I said Akim, doesn't have a tight team partner, but I, I met the other, I met the other way around. H uppercut to Akum. Akum sends to the corner, and now Shawn Michaels getting tagged in. Up, oh, authors of pain. It's slammed down to the mat. Oh, Shawn Michaels went for a body splash. Akum was Akum was, <laughs> was able to move out of the way. Oh, plants Michaels down. Kick to the back. It was an illegal tag. It was not a legal tag. Shawn Michaels ridging on the face of Rezar. Ooh, elbow. Another elbow, not, not from the same person. But it was another elbow strike. Shawn Michaels. I think Agum took a cheap shot there. I don't think the referee noticed. 
Shawn Michaels trying to fight back in. He doesn't. He's not gonna let that punch get at it, the one up on him. Then Rizar towards Akum. Drop kick. I'll tell you about Akum. Akum to Akum. Okay. Like more like a double foot stomp. Akum to Rizar's back. Shawn Michaels gonna fight his way back in. Oh, the free on seven. He's on now on eight. Nine. Nine. Is Shawn Michaels and Triple H win? These are an Acum will not be getting their rematch. Next, we have Tatanka taking on Rikishi. Be Rikishi. I think I think this match happened like last week or two weeks ago, and I was Tatanka plays Rikishi. Nope. Tatanka sidestep. Nice kick to the gut. Oh, oh, scratch the back of Tatanka. Nice punch to the gut. Oh. Oh. Kishi goes under. Samoan drop. No, no, that was not a Samoan drop. Whatever it was, it was effective. Oh, chop from Tatanga right to the head. Oh, look. Oh, smack to the face. Rams to Tonka down. No, oh, super kick. To Tonka seems like he don't even know where he is. Look. Drops him down. Samoan driver. Man, Tatanka's face is a bloody mess. Akishi had that entire match.
They're going to have Tatanga land there unconscious. There's blood seeping out of his face, and you want to dance around the ring. Dean Ambrose to take on Matt Hardy up next. Now we'll be playing this match as the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. Free calls for the bell. Dean Ambrose and Matt Hardy. Oh, went for a elbow. That's Bulldog from Matt Hardy. Nice leg drop. Looking for another one. And he hits it. Team goes over. He gets caught with an elbow. That drop. Yeah. It sends Matt Hardy into the corner. Oh, no, Matt Hardy. Did Ambrose arm wrench clothesline? Picking up Matt Hardy. Suplex. Knee into the gut. Another knee. Locked at the leg and sweeps out the leg, planting Matt Hardy down onto the mat. I don't know, Dean Ambrose. Like, I think Matt Hardy's done. But Dean Ambrose doesn't know when he needs to quit. He might not know when anyone should quit. Oh, picks up, uh, looks like maybe going to throw him out of the ring. It was unsuccessful. Alley oop power bomb from the lunatic fringe. Dean Ambrose arm wrench into a clothesline. Ooh. Goes off the ropes. Leg drop. Another one off the right off the ropes. Oh, dropping Ambrose down right on his back. Then Ambrose kicks out after a one count. Uncommon here. 
Ambrose catches him with a neck breaker. Ambrose. This could be it. And Matt Hardy kicks out at two. Dean Ambrose looking for it. Nope. Neck breaker from Matt Hardy. Dean gets picked up. Arm wrench. But Ambrose fights out. Hits him with a back elbow. Catches him. Ooh. Ambrose again dropping Matt Hardy. Ooh. What, uh, Ambrose wrenched the arm again. But Matt Hardy was able to fight him off. These two have been so back and forth in this match. It is crazy. Ambrose is fighting back here to a bulldog. Oh, Matt Hardy sends him off. Larry, it close the line. Dean Ambrose has some dirty deeds. This could be it. And Matt Hardy again fights out. Dean Ambrose not gonna broke the leg of Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy plants his character down. Whoops, sends Matt into the corner. Oh, come on, turn around. Dean Ambrose laying in Matt to the turnbuckles and I think that may have busted Matt Hardy open and it looks like it really does look like it has Dean and um, I thought that was it I thought that was it somehow Dean Ambrose again Matt again Putting Ambrose down. And Ambrose kicks out. I thought I thought I was I got too proud and I literally thought I was gonna kinda kick kick out of that. Dean quickly kicking out again. Matt Hardy gets sent over the top rope. Oh, Matt kicks Ambrose away, but Ambrose fighting into this match. Ambrose for a suplex. Get him back in. Picking up Matt Hardy. Oh, Matt. Uppercut. Dean, elbow to the shoulder.
Again, Dinamos. Looks like the gash and like right here. On to the next. In our main event, we have the Usos taking on Luke Harper and Eric Rowan again. Well, the Usos taking on Harper and Rowan. But I will be playing this much. There's the Usos. I love the Usos. I really do. Spoiler alert for SmackDown if you haven't seen it, but I'm really mad that Ro that Roman got switched to SmackDown because I wanted to see the Usos and Ro and Roman form a stable. But those titles no one seems to be able to take those titles away from the Usos Yeah, Jey Uso and Rowan starting off this match. Oh, Rowan. Oh, Rowan using his legs as weapons. Could you imagine seeing the Usos tapping out to Rowan or Harper? After what the Usos have been doing, making them tap out. The Uso off the ropes and over that top rope, diving right out, right onto Rowan. Jey Uso laying in strikes but it doesn't seem to be affecting Rowan too much oh Jay. Free on a count of nine. I wasn't paying attention to the count until the referee got to nine. Like I, like I think I heard it. I, I think I even said something. I don't even know if I said something about it. I think I said something about it. And so, but when I, but when I heard nine, I was like, oh crap! Gotta get back in that ring.
I knew that submission was going to work outside the ring. But I still wanted to make him tap out. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever missed anything and you guys want to catch up on everything, head over to my YouTube channel at Prince Truth. If you're not there already, and if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button, turn those push notifications so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, I am out. Boom!